So it was May of 2019. This was a couple months after my first season of wrestling. And in my first season of wrestling, I only ended up winning one single match. I lost all the other like 30 JV matches that I had. So that really messed me up mentally. And I wanted to get better. I wasn't the biggest fan of wrestling and I was a bit happy after the wrestling season ended, but I just had something in me that I didn't want to just quit. Like I didn't want to just quit and give up wrestling. Like I actually wanted to get better and actually kind of learn the sport. So I remember I, I was a bit of a pussy for this. So my coach, my wrestling, my old wrestling coach is kind of a bit like, I guess strict, you could say, I don't know. He's like, he's like a type of dude that you get kind of scared of to talk to. Like I I'm sure a lot of you guys that wrestled in high school uh, probably relate to this so i didn't really want to confront him directly and tell him like i'm really interested in getting better as a wrestler like what can i do so instead what i did was i just fucking emailed him i emailed him like this whole last paragraph i'm sure he probably didn't even read all of it he probably just read like the last two sentences where i was pretty much just bitching i'm like oh like i, I don't want to lose in wrestling like i want to get better at wrestling like i want to get stronger like i don't know where to go though like can you please help me out or whatever and he sent me a message and he recommended me two things. One of those things was to start coming to the off season practices that were happening in the summer. So that's one thing that he recommended me to do. But the other thing as well was to start lifting weights, was to start hitting the gym. And hitting the gym at the time was something that I, like I barely knew anything about the gym. Actually, this is funny because I think this is the time period right before the pandemic or I, I think, you know, this time period of people really wanting to hit the gym started, I think, in 2018, 2019. Because I feel like hitting the gym wasn't something popular until six, seven years ago. Like, you know how people now talk so much about the gym and shit like that and how it's normalized to go to the gym. I didn't really think back then it was like that. So it was an interesting time, right? You know, I didn't really hear much about the gym. Didn't really know much about it or anything like that. But, you know, my coach told me that, you know, I should lift weights there and uh, get stronger. And he recommended me one of the personal trainers that like pretty much just watched everyone there. So I remember coming into the gym. I was obviously nervous as fuck. I came in there and I talked to the personal trainer, told him that I didn't know anything about lifting. I have no idea where to start. And like this personal trainer that was at the gym, like I still, I'm still in contact with him today. He's an amazing guy, such a great guy. He really, really helped me out. And you know, his response was like, yeah, like no problem. So pretty much he kind of just showed me how to lift. He showed me how to do the bench how to, you know, squat, how to deadlift, a whole bunch of other exercises. Pretty much he developed like a workout routine for me to follow. And it was just awesome having him there. Like, holy fuck, dude. I'm so grateful to have him there because uh, pretty much, right? Like you could just go up to him, be like, hey, like, I I'm just curious, like my technique's not that good. Can you help me out? And he would come up to you and help you out, which is huge. So I didn't start off hitting the gym. Unlike a lot of people who start hitting the gym, but you know, they have to learn their technique through videos. They don't have other people to help them out. I was able to learn technique through this dude without needing to just watch a video and then try out, you know, the technique and fucking it up. He actually helped me develop good technique. And yeah, he developed a whole personal routine for me. And I would start to come into the gym like two, three days a week. I kind of just started off not really going that much, but I started to go more and more during the summer. I remember just being so excited. I would ride my bike to the gym all the time being so excited to come to the gym then come back home and play a bit of minecraft like bro just having to only worry about the gym at this time as my responsibility was like the best feeling in the world and over the summer i started to notice my body started to look a bit different i started to notice my muscles started to look a bit bigger for the first time i had biceps and i just started to feel really good about myself i started to feel really confident and i started to feel as if I was getting stronger, which is why we lift to get stronger. And that's how I really started to fall in love with the gym. And I think, you know, it paid off during my sophomore season of wrestling because I noticed I was a lot stronger. I wasn't getting pushed around so easily. And I just felt a lot better about myself. Like there's so many, you know, benefits towards hitting the gym, but I'm not really going to talk about that right now. What I am going to talk about is I know there are martial artists that don't hit the gym, that don't lift weights. And to that, I say, I think lifting weights is a necessity. Like you need to be lifting weights. Like you have to be lifting weights if you want to get stronger 
if you want to be a better martial artist but a lot of people don't really know where to start so i'm kind of i'm gonna just explain to you guys how you can start to hit the gym so what i would really try to do is try to find a friend that's been hitting the gym that would be willing to just invite you to come hit the gym come hit a workout show you technique how to do technique properly and yeah that's like one suggestion that i have um like i i don't really believe that you should be just going to the gym alone i really think that trying to just find a friend or someone to really help you out is really beneficial and something as well too is you know like if you're in high school i would really try to you know connect with a personal trainer if there is one there and uh really just ask him questions ask him how uh, to lift and all those things. What you could do as well is honestly pay for a personal trainer. I know a lot of you guys are probably broke and uh, don't have money. I know it's expensive, like don't worry, I don't have money to pay for one either, but I think it's a good investment. I really think paying for a personal trainer is a good investment. Even if you pay for one for just one or two months, I think in one or two months you can still make progress and you can at least get the fundamentals of lifting down, like learning technique. And last thing I would do is at your martial arts gym to maybe just ask your coach ask your coach if he could probably just bring you to the gym or something like that and just show you how to lift how to do technique or any other friends that you have at that martial arts gym i would also really just try to ask them and just see if they could probably bring you to the gym and just show you how to lift weights so yeah these are all really steps that you could take right now to go and start hitting this gym now one of the most important things when it comes to martial arts is mindset if you don't have a good mindset at the end of the day you're fucked. So that's why I built this brand new course called the Fighter Mindset, where pretty much I teach you how to build an undestructible mindset and win every single fucking competition. So check it out. First link in the description below. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to subscribe and remember my boys, stay active, stay busy, and most of all, stay hungry.